Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the drug Alteplase, also known commonly as TPA. This drug is classified as a thrombolytic. Remember that lysis means death, so we are killing the clot. And it is given for acute MI, pulmonary embolism, acute ischemic stroke, and central venous catheter occlusion. This drug is unique because it has strict inclusion and exclusion criteria that tell you when it can be given. Some of the important points is that the exclusion criteria for an ischemic stroke is that this drug cannot be given if there is currently a suspected hemorrhage or there is recent surgery or trauma within the past three months. For acute MI, it cannot be given if there is any major trauma or surgery in the past three months or if there is a risk that the client could have a recent hemorrhagic stroke. In pregnant women, you should use extreme caution while administering this drug. This drug is synthetic tissue plasminogen activator or TPA. This will actively convert plasminogen to plasmin. We should remember that plasmin actively breaks down clots. Therefore, we say that TPA breaks down clots or is a thrombolytic drug. You should be aware that this drug must be given within three hours of an ischemic stroke or within six hours of an acute MI. Also, be sure to limit invasive procedures like injections and IV catheter insertions if at all possible for your patient. This drug will start to work within 30 minutes of administration and has effects that can last for around an hour. The side effects of this drug may include hemorrhagic stroke and bleeding which can lead to hemorrhage and hypotension. Some commonly tested material about this drug is that the patient must meet the inclusion criteria to receive this drug. It is given for ischemic stroke and MI. Specifically, it must be given within three hours of an ischemic stroke and within six hours of an MI. It is a thrombolytic medication which will break down clots that have already formed. And lastly, please monitor your, your patient for hypotension and bleeding. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.